I love wearing a crown and robes and pretending to be queen. The jewels on my crown, the colors on my cape. It's easy to wish that I could be queen or be led by someone with lots of money and power. It's easy to forget that there's no wisdom or power in a leader unless they are following God's lead and loving other people. In our next unit called Kings and Prophets, we learn about the leaders God gave us and gave the Israelites. The people wanted kings to rule over them. And God said yes, but in return, he wanted the kings to follow him. Lots of these kings did not follow God and thought they were in charge. But some of the kings and prophets chose to grow near to God and let him lead their decisions. They knew that God is in charge and will always be with us. Let's hear about Saul, who disobeyed God and was removed from being king. But also about King David, who, with God's help, let Saul go, even though he tried to hurt him. We'll be amazed at King Solomon finishing the temple, a place to worship God. And Prophet Elijah, who challenged people to worship the one true God. King Josiah and the prophet Jeremiah reminded the people to return to God and to obey him. We're going to discover what it means for God to be the only true God and how he invites us to follow him. In the stories of kings and prophets, we will see that God is in charge and he is the one who is always with us. As much as I like this crown, I like it more that God is the king of love. We are his jewels and priceless treasures. I'm excited to learn more about this in God's big story this week. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing in death. Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing in death. Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. Road to 
together We can be different as day and night But life is truly better Giving and taking and working it through Loving and praying and sticking like glue They will see God's love for me and you But there's one thing I know sister buckle and sister and hold on tight it's a long road together we could be different as day and night but life is truly better giving and taking and working it through loving and praying and sticking like glue they will see god's love for me Dear friend, I didn't see you there. I'm Professor Stevenson, and I'm delighted to... Well, someone has the giggles. What is it? Oh my, how long has that been there? I'm so glad you're here, because I was just learning about another prophet and king. So far, we've learned about Saul, the first king of Israel, and David a boy God chose to be king. Well, guess what? He did grow up to be king. King David did make some mistakes, but he followed many of God's plans and was a good leader for the Israelites. Then, David had a son named Solomon. When Solomon grew up, he became a king who was known for, I know I put it somewhere. Now, where? Aha! King Solomon is remembered because he helped build a very special building. He decided that he wanted to build God a temple where people could come and worship God. He knew that God didn't need a house. God is bigger than any house. But Solomon built one anyway because God promised to spend time with his people in the temple. When you spend time with God, you're in his presence. When the temple was built, Solomon called all the people together for a ceremony. It was kind of like a big party. Solomon prayed for the temple and blessed the people, and the presence of God filled the temple. God dwelled with his people there in the temple. Dwelled means his presence was with them. Now, you might be asking, where do you need to go to have God's presence with you? Do you and I need to go to a temple to have God's presence with us? That's the best part. When Jesus died and rose again, God sent the Holy Spirit so that Anyone who believes in Jesus can always have God's presence. God dwells with his people. 